All right, hey guys, I got a request to do a walk around of my tractor. So um, it snowed. The blizzard of 2013 uh, was over the week. Was yesterday here in northern Maine. So um, I did a little bit of snow blowing yesterday. I'm going to finish up right now. I thought it'd be a good chance to do a quick walk around, show you the tractor. So let's see it. Still in the garage, and this is. Uh, 2011 uh, John Deere 2520 even though the garage is 45 degrees I had a lot of snow on here last night so it hasn't completely melted but not too bad uh, like I said it's a 2011 this is uh, so I've had this for about two years I did get the I've got a uh, 62 inch drive over mower deck and the loader for it I had the loader out last year available so I could put it on, I kept it here in the garage, but uh, I never used it, so I put it down in the back shed instead. Uh, I can still get to it if I want to, but the snowblower works so well, I don't really have a need, I guess. Uh, so this is a 54 inch snowblower that uh, I think does a fantastic job. It's only 18 inches high, which is tough to see here, but uh, you know, in the drifts here in northern Maine, it tends to be deeper than that um, not a lot but enough so that uh, it, it goes over the top but just back up and get it again it's fine it blows it uh, plenty far out of the way if you look at some of my other videos you'll see some of the I've got some snow blowing videos here I did opt for the cab and had some lights and it's the hard this is a uh, the original tractor cab company um, I like it pretty well it's not heated I do have a little electric um, fan heater here from VIP you can see in the corner that blows across the windshield does a pretty good job keeping the frost off the windshield uh, oh, the heat just came on and uh, I had some lights put on it but that's all I have for heat in there but uh, you know it's not too bad it comes out of a warm garage and as long as it's not 50 below out it's uh, it does a job I keep uh, box scraper with four weights on the back for ballast uh, I don't really need it uh, helps with traction a little bit mostly I use that to uh, go up against the garage to pull the snow away because uh, it's easier to it's easier and does a better job at scraping where the tires have driven over any snow uh, than the than the snow blower does there is down pressure on the blower but um, I prefer to use a box scraper if at all possible you see I do have to put the the uh, roll bar down to get in it's only a seven foot door so uh, it was kind of questionable whether or not this was going to fit in the garage when I got it but the lights clear by about a half an inch <laughs> so but the roll bar definitely will not clear so I just put it down and then when I go out um, I usually put it up depends what I'm doing if I'm just doing a quick cleanup in the yard I don't do anything I leave it down you can see I did put a uh, work light on the back that's really easy with the the way John Deere's got it set up, the uh, wires are right here, all wired into the factory uh, wiring harness when you turn the headlights on. Uh, the work light comes on with it. Pretty nice setup. Down around this side, see the hydraulic lines are right here on the side. Uh, and they've got the loops to hold the hydraulic lines in place. They're kind of well routed up around here. Um, looks like kind of a mess of hydraulic lines, but I can't really clean it up too much better than this. The front tires do barely touch when I turn all the way to the left, um, but not not bad. You can see I got another set of lines here. I use a, a power broom in the spring, so uh, all I do is I swap the lines out that do the hydraulic chute, and they go to angle the front end. Angle this up here. There's a there's a hydraulic buried. Um, you can see it it's right there. That's the angle cylinder. When I snow blow with it, I just uh, there's, there's a pin that's underneath that snow, uh, but it locks it solid in place. Um, so that I can use the side to side to uh, do my shoot angle instead. This is a uh, 
2520s are 26 and a half, I think, horsepower. Three cylinder, naturally aspirated, no turbo diesel. Um, pretty fuel efficient, I think. Even snow blowing it full throttle, it burns about a gallon an hour, probably. Um, so maybe a little more, maybe a gallon and a half sometimes, but it does a pretty good job, I think. Go in here. Doors just to have this little latch right here, and it locks on this little piece. Come on, camera. There you go. Locks on that to latch. Uh, you know, not the fanciest, but uh, last night when I was out in the blowing wind and it was 10 below wind chill and the winds were gusting to 30 miles an hour, snow was blowing on me. It uh, worked pretty well. I've got switches up here. That's my uh, the roof light switch, the switch for the roof lights, so I can turn those on and off separately, and then that runs the uh, windshield wiper. And you can see it just has a switch right on it, so you just flip that switch to run it. Um, that's kind of most of it. I keep my ear protection here uh, that I'm not as faithful as I should be at using, but uh, I keep it right there just to remind me to use it. I will let's go ahead and start this up. It hasn't been plugged in or anything, but the garage I keep at 45, as I said earlier, so uh, it doesn't need to be plugged in. Probably helps it warm up a little better if I do. But uh, these have this particular model year, the 2011, the glow plugs I believe are just on a timer. So you can see they come on. Let's see, this tractor has 94 hours on it right now. You can see the battery. Oil pressure, four wheel drive, it's in four wheel drive. The glow plugs just shut off. Let's start it up. That's not too bad, I guess. Go uh, for what you might call a cold start. Let's open the garage door up here. I have to uh, use this block keep the garage door open all the way like that or the cab hits it Let's see we got northern Maine so we didn't get a whole lot of that big blizzard but these snow drifts are, that's two feet deep right there probably. There's the track here. And uh, so, that's my walk around. I, if you want to see some actual snow blowing videos, I've got some others of those right now. But uh, it's only about five degrees out right now, so I'm going to get this out and do some snow blowing and uh, get the garage door closed. This is what I cleaned up with just quickly yesterday, just in case anyone needed to get in or out. Um, let's walk around the front here real quick, but you can kind of see where I just blew up against the house here yesterday. Just real quick, clean up last night, but I need to do a better job today campers out back, ready for spring. This weather makes me think I'm ready for spring, but when I get to blow snow with this, it's a lot of fun, so I'm okay for now. All right, well, thanks a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Well, you know what? No good walk around videos complete without uh, a little tractor action, so I uh, brought the camera along with me. It's gonna be tough to uh, hear anything while it's running, so. You won't have to listen to me talk anymore. I'll just uh, show a little bit of snow blowing here. Hopefully this will give a pretty good idea. There's not a lot left to do, but I can uh, show how the cleanup works. So here we go. I'm out of the garage now. And uh, where we just came out of that door. Let's see if I can get a half piece of angle on this so you can see what's going on. Here we go, it's gonna get loud. The cab is loud, unfortunately. I'm 
pour down the hydraulics are cold. Turn it on. And I look.